Well, let's say you realize that the environment around you is changing very quickly. Uh, you have new technology coming up, uh, consumers are different, and you have new competitors that didn't used to be in your industry before. So you realize you also have to change, you have to become more innovative yourself. So you go through the regular process in your company. You talk to experts and you ask them to come up with new solutions, with new projects. What happens then is that one department will have to talk to another department. Employees are going to have to make some room in their busy schedule for the new project. That is not going to be super easy because their incentive is to keep doing what they have been doing. But let's say you manage to push a new project forward. That is also going to take a bit longer than expected because employees want to make sure that the product they work on is going to turn out perfect. Nobody wants to be responsible for a failure, right? Okay, it's time to launch it. But oops, only now you realize that the market is not super interested in what you're offering. Do you recognize that story? A lot of companies work like that, but it doesn't have to be that way. There are many tools you can use, for example, user-centered design. Instead of trying to guess what consumers want, we actually empathize with them and try to find out what their needs are. Instead of investing a lot of time and money in developing a new project, we actually very quickly release a rough prototype and then gather feedback with that. So if you want to learn more about how to do this, about this new methodology, join me at Transform Your Business. It's not going to be a PowerPoint presentation, it's going to be a hands-on exercise on the methodology called design thinking.